Hey, I'm Trina, and welcome back to Trina Talks. So, I'm currently refilming this episode because I already filmed it once, and the microphone messed up the quality, so we're here filming this again. I'm also currently sick, so I sound really stuffy and just not the best, so we're not going to talk about that. But I am currently home for winter break. I think I have like six days left, so a little under a week. It is currently the day before New Year's when I'm filming this, by the way, which is just insane. Like, it's going to be 2024, and I think that is crazy, like absolutely crazy. Also, fun fact, I haven't done a solo episode, I think, since when I started this podcast, which was like summertime. So this is really weird for me to be sitting down by myself and recording this episode right now but i'm at home and i don't have anyone to record with right now so we're doing a solo episode hopefully you guys like it like i said i don't normally do these anymore i normally record with friends so hopefully you guys still enjoy this i have like a little story time for you but for starters something really exciting is i've been looking for an internship because i need an internship to count my credits towards my major and over this break i have applied to eight internships and eight jobs and i finally got an interview for an internship the closest interview date they had though was like February 9th which I think is absolutely insane but I was like I will take it like I need this interview so that's exciting I guess start to 2024 will be me interviewing for that internship hopefully I'll get it I'll keep you guys updated on that but yeah so I have a little story time for you today because I realized that I never really talked about this and I was watching some of my old YouTube videos because if you didn't know I kind of vlog like a lot of my college journey and I'm a sophomore now and I vlogged not a lot of my freshman year but definitely like a pretty decent amount of it and I had this one vlog which is like a video diary it's private it's just for me but basically it's like me talking about like all the things that I struggled with in my freshman year so like the time that I was really lonely there's a time where like I didn't really like feel like myself and that was really difficult a lot of different emotions basically were in that video and I was coming across the part where it shows how I almost left the school and I was like wow sometimes I forget that that happened like that I fully almost left my school because I was that unhappy so I thought we could go to like a little story time with that because I feel like it could be interesting because like I said a lot of you guys don't know about this because I haven't really talked about it so let's jump into it so basically the school I chose I chose it because I was going to be on the dance team like I went there for the dance team I had a scholarship I was so excited I was like okay this is my first dance team ever that I'm going to be on I get a dance like every single day I was really excited well when I got there I ended up hating the dance team like I was like okay this sucks we had this thing called hell week and basically it was like a whole week of like training and dance practice like the entire day so I didn't even have time that first week to like settle into my room to try to make friends like nothing I was just like practice 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 go 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 from like 8 a.m till like 10 o'clock at night it was insane that's why it was called hell week so makes a lot of sense why it was called that now because yeah it felt like literal hell and so I think I made it through the first week that hell week but I was really struggling like I remember I had allergic reactions so I got really sick and then I tore like a muscle in my leg and it was like a really hard muscle in my leg I don't remember but it was like the inner part of my thigh which is like a really bad place to tear a muscle and then I also got COVID which took me out for 10 days I had a quarantine for 10 days which actually was probably good because I literally felt like death for those 10 days and I remember that I had to go run like I think it was two or three miles with my team on the track and I told my coach I'm like I am literally sick right now like I have not left my bed because I am dying I was like I just felt like I couldn't breathe and that was like before I was even running like how was I gonna run three miles and I remember her getting mad at me for it and I was like well I'm sorry but I can't run so that was kind of my final straw that was kind of the point that I hit where I was like you know what I don't think this team is for me so I think I lasted like two weeks I think that was like two weeks at the time and I was like I can't do this so I texted the coach right after she sent me that message about like he should be out here with the team and like running the three miles or whatever while I'm literally in bed with COVID I was on my deathbed and so I was like okay yeah I told her no I was like I left the team it left me feeling really sad because I had a few friends on the team and I felt like once I left I wasn't really friends with them them anymore like I felt like the only thing keeping me friends with them was the team which makes sense I guess because like I said you're with the team all the time so I guess when I left it makes sense when we kind of fell apart but it left me feeling like I had no friends and that was like such a bad feeling for me because I'm definitely like a people person like I 100% need people around me I need to be with people I need to spend time with people so I was like I don't know what to do with this like this is literally awful 
So I remember uh, we had a thing called Hell Week. Right after that, we had a thing called Welcome Week, which is basically like you're supposed to make friends, interact with new people, do activities to get to know people. And one of my friends who I'd met on the dance team introduced me to this girl named Valentina, who's from Colombia. If you don't know who Valentina is, she is now my best friend, but we'll get to that in a second. So she introduced me to this girl named Valentina. And I was, like, super nervous to be there. I was really shy at the time. Valentina was really nervous. We were shy. Like, we just got there. We felt out of place. We didn't know what we were doing. And so she introduced me, and I was like, oh, hey, whatever. She was like, hey. And then I turned away because, like, I kind of felt uncomfortable. I was like, I don't really know what to talk with her about. I'm too shy for this. But Valentina thought that I didn't like her because I turned away. And so it kind of left, like, a bad, like, first start for us. And then we thought that each other didn't like each other for, like, a few days. So then I was, like, hitting a really low point. And I was, like, calling my parents every night and every day. And I was, like, crying. And I was like, I need to come home like let me come home and I even like applied to go to Arizona State University online and I was like I need to do something else I can't be here this is miserable and my dad told me he's like okay how about this he's like give it one more week for me and stick it out and after that week if you still want to come home then you can come home I was like okay bet I can do one more week that's fine so I think it was about like the last day of my week it was like a Tuesday and I stopped eating at the cafeteria because I didn't like to eat alone. But it was, like, the last day, so I was like, okay, fine. I will go eat there so I can get, like, one last experience, and then I'm out. So I go to this table that I always eat at, and it was, like, a two-person table. It was, like, a high top. So I sit down, I'm eating my food, and this girl comes up to me, and she goes, hey, can I stay here? Which I'd never heard anyone ask me that before. So I was like, oh, my God. Yes, of course. The girl was Valentina. And I was like, okay. I thought she didn't like me, so I'm a little confused. But we ended up, like, talking and really getting along. Like, we talked about Harry Styles, One Direction, stuff like that. And so it was, like, perfect. And then I think she ended up following me on Instagram. And I started seeing her around. I got her Snapchat. And, like, we started hanging out all the time. And we have been inseparable for, like, the past year. So shout out to Valentina. She is the reason I stayed. I remember calling my mom and being like, you'll never guess what happened. And me being like, someone actually ate with me at lunch today. And I know that my mom was just so excited because she was getting really concerned because I really did hit a low point. Like, I was, like, not doing okay. And I just really wanted to come home more than anything, which if you know me, that doesn't make any sense for me but she was so happy and she was like wow that's amazing like someone came this out with you and then I told her I'm like yeah like I think I'm actually becoming friends with this girl whatever now she knows Valentina and like knows how much her and I get along and everything but yeah that's my crazy little story of how Valentina literally saved me from leaving my school like I was so close and then she had told me later that she also thought about leaving the school and that meeting me was part of the reason she also didn't leave so it was really cool that was like definitely like a moment where it's like uh you're supposed to be where you're supposed to be with the who you're supposed to be with type of moment like it was clear that we were meant to be with each other that day so that each of us would stay at the school because like like crazy fun times and crazy cool things that we've experienced so far together is amazing and we wouldn't have that if we both left the school so I think that was definitely intentional and I'm really grateful for that every day she came and sat with me because it made me beyond happy so valentino if you're listening thank you and i appreciate you so that was a little story that i never really shared and i was like i should share this because i never really talked about it because when i was going through it it was like an entirely different thing like i was like no i can't really talk about this like this is really difficult and i was like like i'm telling you it was such a little place for me that i was like crying every day like i was not in the place to be thinking about telling what i was going through like i made the video diary for myself and i probably won't ever post it publicly because i was like that low but like i don't know i feel like i took the video diary just so I could see for myself where I was and how much I've grown since then and I really have appreciated that because now looking back on it I'm like wow I'm really glad I documented that like even though it was really hard for me it's cool to see how much I've grown as a person and like how different my life has been and like truly how there is light at the end of the tunnel like people always say that but it's true like for me that felt like it was my end all be all but it wasn't I've had so much cool stuff happen so many amazing people in my life so many amazing friends I have so many friends that I'm so grateful for that I never would have met if I didn't get myself out of that little rut and I guess it took more than just me it took Valentina to help me too but sometimes that's okay sometimes it takes another person or just something else to help you get out of that place and that is completely okay I just told that whole story and it made me so out of breath because I'm so sick right now so that's fun I need like a whole minute to recover there because I also talk so fast people keep telling me that someone told me that today she's like since you left for school you talk a lot faster and I was like I didn't think that was possible like I already talk really freaking fast if I'm talking fast it must sound like I'm like just like talking gibberish or something because how could I talk faster than I already do I don't get that but I think it's true I definitely talk a lot faster than I do and sometimes my brain doesn't process the thoughts that I'm trying to say so like what I'm thinking it comes out something entirely different because my brain just can't process it all yeah sometimes that definitely affects the way that I speak I will like skip a word or I'll like put a word in there that makes no sense because it's just 
It's too much for my little brain sometimes. You gotta slow down and breathe sometimes. I gotta remind myself that I'm like, you know what? Take a breath. <laughs> you don't need to talk so fast. But yeah, that was my little story that I felt like sharing. And I just want you to know if you are someone who's going through something similar or have been through something similar, whether it's high school, college, whatever stage of your life that you're in, it's gonna be okay. Like, you're gonna find your group of people. You're gonna find whatever it is that makes you happy. Like, I thought that the only thing that I could ever enjoy doing at school was dance. And that's not true. Like, I have found so much more stuff that I enjoy doing, too. I still dance, just not a dance team. But, like, it wasn't my end-all be-all that I left the dance team. Like, that wasn't all that I had going for me. And I think sometimes it's hard to see that. Like, especially if you're in my situation where, like, I went to that school for dance and I ended up leaving the dance team. Then you're like, okay, what I came here for, I'm not even going to do anymore. So, like, why am I even here? Like, that's a totally understandable feeling. But, like, you're going to find something else, trust me. And you're going to find people, like, there's always something waiting for you. There's always something good that's going to happen for you. You just got to stick around, stick it through, and it's going to happen. Don't worry about it. If it gets hard, that's okay. Like, everybody has those moments where it's, like, a hard thing to go through. And I think that that is completely normal. And you're going to be fine. Like I said, that was, like, I don't know, it was, like, end of August till beginning of October, pretty much, that I felt like that. That's a long time to feel how I was feeling. I wish you guys could see how I was feeling. But I also don't fully feel comfortable sharing that. But maybe one day I'll share it. But just know that, like, that was, like, the lowest place I've been in. And look at me now, like, if you see my TikToks or my YouTube videos or my Instagram posts, like, you see how genuinely happy I am with the people that I'm surrounded with and doing what I'm doing. Like, I love my major. I love being a manager for the esports team. I'm going to be working for the marketing department. I love doing that. I love filming YouTube videos and podcast episodes and taking pictures with my friends. All that is stuff that genuinely makes me so happy. And, like, I wouldn't be doing if I left the school. So, yeah, just, like, stick it through. You got this. And it's a new year by the time this episode goes out, which is crazy, like I said. But a new year means new challenges you're going to face, of course. But it also means new opportunities. It means new adventures. It means new experiences, new people. Like, a new year can bring so much great stuff into your life. There of course, always be the negative stuff and the stuff that you're going to have to go through that's going to maybe change you a little bit for the better. But that's okay. We're human. That's what happens. That's what we all go through. That was my little take on that. My little hot take on, I guess, staying where you are, even if it's a little difficult. Of course, that can mean different things for different people. Like, if you're in a toxic place, that is not what I mean. But if you are in some place where it's not toxic, you're just, like, out of your comfort zone, maybe, try to stick it through. You'll be surprised. All right, that's going to be it for today's episode. I'm going to wrap it up because this is a solo episode. I'm sick, and i got to record one more episode. But after I get back from break, which will be after this episode and the next one, then I will have guests back on. That's going to be a fun time. So thank you guys for listening, and Happy New Year. Bye.